Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily work with deep learning in satellite imagery and then make the classification using the deep learning model. So I will show you all of step by step process. I hope you can also try to follow this approach and you can easily make the land use land cover classification using deep learning model. So first of all, we have to install the two packages. One package called the Rasterio, another package called the ArtPy. So in this time, here I use the Google Colab. So for that, I simply put here the pip install Rasterio and also pip install ArtPy. So basically, Rasterio is one kind of geographic information system use geotip and other format to organize and store the gridded raster data set such as satellite imagery or aerial photography or any other kinds of tip format imagery on the other hand artpy so mainly artpy is another uh, python package that make it easier to plot and work with the special raster and vector data using open source tools so now first of all i simply install the rasterio package and also install the artpy so these two packages i just simply install using the pip install rasterio and pip install artpy after doing these things you have to use this type of import this type of package so basically in this time we just import the pandas package we import the numpy package as well as we also um, import the keras package so this type of package we have to import in our google collab so basically, uh, Keras is an API designed to for human beings, not machine. Keras mainly uh, it work for the deep learning for humans. And in this time here, you can say also uh, import the from Keras import the sequential. So it's one kind of method for the sequential method we have to use in here. So what is the sequential? Uh, basically, sequential model is a linear stack of layer. And the common architecture of the convo net is a sequential architecture. So in this time we are input here the sequential model. And in this time uh, we can easily get the sequential from the cross. And we also need to some layers. So basically this layer come from the cross library. From I import the uh, convo 1D, max pooling ID, dense, uh, dropout, flatten, input, global max pooling 1ID. So this type of uh, layer I simply import because further need to use it for making the deep learning model and I also call the cross callbacks uh, uh, import the early stopping and also import the cross model as well as also import the rasterio as well as also import the artpy so all of necessary you can see uh, scalar matrix so all of things I try to import in here because you can see from the scalar matrix I import the confusion matrix or confusion matrix display one classification report so these type of things I import from the scale and matrix. Also you can see the matplotlib, matplotlib, pyplot, plt, also matplotlib color. Okay, so all of necessary package I simply import in here. Okay, but during this time we need to import our data. Okay, so basically in this time I simply import the data. Basically it's our sample data. It sample data in this time I use at the CSV file. If you want, you can also use at the shape file. There is not much difference. It's almost same for the CSV and also shape file. Basically, in this time, this CSV file is store it the different types of band pixel value. So in this time, I store it this type of band: band one, band two, band three, band four, band six, band uh, seven, EBI, NBR, NDMI, NDWI, NDBI, NDBI elevation. So all of those band pixel value for each sample i store it in the csv file okay and further i also put the color so basically in this time i create the total four classes class number four as well as i also spill the data using the training and testing using the sample and then further i also put at the my satellite imagery which image i want to make for classification okay so just i simply import all of my parameter Further, I simply load this image. Here you can see for the uh, I for open this image, I call my Rasterio Python package. Okay, I call the Rasterio Python package and further just open 
I simply call the image path. Basically, this variable store it this image path, and I simply put here the band number, image count, height, uh, width. So all of those things I do define in here, as well as also define about their color and also make the stack image stacking. I do and also pull out further. I simply pull out that. So then I can got this type of imagery. So basically, this is my satellite imagery. So this satellite imagery, I want to make land use land cover classification using the machine learning model. So part that after doing these things, in this time, I simply uh, also import my sample, which sample I want to use in here, you can see. So in this time here, we can find out the all of training sample, extract the band pixel value for B1 band, B2 band, B3 band, B4 band, B5 band, B6, B7, EVI, NVR, all of those band I want to extract from here. I uh, And I spilled using the training and testing data using that. And further, after doing this thing, we are simply uh, uh, this uh, spill the into train and test based on the column. So we just set the train and test as well as we create the label feature. So all of those things we try to import in here. And further, we try to get the model summary look like that. Here you can see uh, for the each layer, we can get this type of information for con one ID, uh, con one ID, it's a max pooling ID, dropout layer, we can get the con two ID. So in this time, we create this type of layer and also check about their output shape and also get their parameter from here. And further, after doing these things, we have just uh, trained the model. In this time, I just compile this model using the optimizer Adam. So it's one kind of optimizer. So first, uh, further, I also try to discuss about the what is the Adam and how it will be work. So in this time, you just remember that Adam is an optimizer of that deep learning model. And further, we try to uh, calculate the loss about this loss function and also matrix about that. And also early stopping, I just already import all of uh, library in my hair. First of all, I simply fit this model. Mainly fit is a function. Uh, this function mainly train your uh, model for your satellite imagery. So just I simply put here the X train and Y train. I already created the X train and Y train. And I'll check the test input and um, test output. I already created these type of things. I put the best size is that 1024. And epoch, I simply put the 100. So now it... Uh, train my model mainly fit this model i can get this type of uh, loss uh, value loss and also value accuracy about for each model parameter i can got from here at that least and further i want to check train the model again about the i just put here that things i can get this type of result and then i simply prediction predict the test data so for that i simply call my uh, test data and add with my model so just I simply call the model and predict with the test input, which I put in already put in here. And further, I calculate the confusion matrix table. And from here, I calculate the precision or recall F1 score and support other things. I simply calculate from here. And here you can see about that we can get that overall accuracy about that 72%. So all of those things you can easily check from here. Okay. And also again, the one, two, three, four. Basically, it's the level of our class. So one, two, three, four. We can already level all of those data set. And further, we are just simply predict this data. Just I simply input this uh, imagery, which I want to add in here, and further prediction about that. So in this time, we can get this type of result. Here is that blue color identify about that uh, water body, and this type of uh, green color identify about the vegetation. Uh, yellow is that barren land, and red color identify about that um, build up area. So basically, this is the process to applying the deep learning model using Google Colab. And uh, basically, deep learning is very helpful when you want to uh, make the classification for a lot of classes. Suppose you want to classify for build up area, barren land, uh, shrub land, or any kind of trees, spaces. Okay. So then it's very helpful for the deep learning. Okay. And we can easily classify the different types of classes from the satellite imagery using the deep learning model. So it's very uh, important for that. Okay. So if you have any question, you can simply uh, make the comment in this time. I also give and if you want to join my deep learning online training program for the land use land for classification or object detection or object recognition so these type of things if you want to learn from beginners to advanced level you can simply contact with my whatsapp number and also contact with my email you can get all of information from this video description then you can easily join my live training session and learn a lot of things about the deep learning so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe